Welcome to this lesson on the triangle sum theorem. The triangle sum theorem says in a triangle, the three interior angles sum to 180 degrees. So interior, remember, means inside. So the three angles inside a triangle will all add up to equal 180. So for example, let's say that this angle is 58 degrees and this angle is 31 degrees, then we can find angle B by setting up an equation. So we don't know angle B, so we're just gonna label that X for now. So we're basically subtracting the angles that we know from 180. So I'm gonna subtract 58 on both sides. Then I'll subtract 31 on both sides. And again, I just made these angles up, so it's probably not gonna be drawn to scale. And so X would be 91 degrees. So that means angle B would be 91 degrees. Of course, that looks like an acute angle. So again, it's not to scale, that's okay. Just remember that they always add up to equal 180 degrees. So let's find some examples here. So it says to solve for X and then find all missing angles. Again, triangles may not be drawn to scale. A lot of times on tests, like state tests, they may not be drawn to scale because you don't want to just guess based on how the triangle looks. You want actual proof that the angle measure is what we know it is based on 180 degrees. So in the first one, again, you can set up an equation. So 75 plus 59. Again, it doesn't matter which angle you start with or the order that you list the angles. You could have started with X. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and add up my like terms on the right side. So I'm going to, or sorry, the left side. I'm going to add up 75 and 59. That's 134. And then bring everything else down. Now I'm going to subtract 134 from both sides. So 46 degrees. All right, number two, same thing. I'm going to take 180 and I'm going to subtract 74 and 39. So you can do it this way instead of setting up an equation. And that gives me a 67 degrees. Now the next um, example has expressions. So I'm going to have to write out an equation. Again, it doesn't matter which one you start with, and when you write the equation, you can get rid of the parentheses and the degree marks and just write the expressions. So 3x plus 2 plus 2x plus 113 equals 180. I'm going to combine my like terms, so 3x and 2x, that's 5x. 2 plus 113, that's 115, and then bring down the rest. Next, I'm going to subtract 115 from both sides. And then divide by 5. So x equals 13. And then I'm going to substitute x back in to my expressions to find the actual degree measure. So for this one, 2 times 13, that would be 26 degrees. And then 3 times 13 plus 2, that will be 41 degrees. Alright, number 4. So 2x plus, remember this is 90 degrees, a right angle, plus 32 equals 180. I'm going to combine like terms, so 90 plus 32 is 122. Subtract on both sides. and then divide by two. So x equals 29. And then I'm just gonna substitute that in. So two times 29 is 58 degrees. All right, number five. I'm gonna list all of these expressions out. Again, you can get rid of parentheses and the degree marks. 
All right, combine like terms, so 3x plus 2x plus x, that would be 6x. And then negative 15 minus 2 plus 41, that would be positive 24. Then subtract 24 on both sides. Divide by 6, so that would be 26. And then substitute 26 back into all three of those expressions to get your actual degree measures. So this would be 3 times 26 minus 15, that's 63 degrees. 2 times 26 minus 2, that would be 50 degrees. And 26 plus 41, that would be 67 degrees. All right, and then the last one, triangle ABC has the following interior angle measures and then they're listed out. If you want to draw a triangle, you can, but since we know these are all interior angles, we know they all have to add up to sum to 180. So I'm just going to list all three measures out equal to 180 and then solve. So like terms, 15x plus 4x is 19x. Negative 4 plus 5 plus 65, that's 66, positive 66. Subtract on both sides, divide by 19, so x is 6. And then I also need to substitute back into those two angles that have expressions so I can find what their actual degree measure is. So this first one, 15 times 6 minus 4, that would give me 86 degrees. Just going to write it on top here. And then 4 times 6 plus 5, that would be 29 degrees. All right, you can pause the video now and complete your two practices and check with your teacher. And then unpause the video to go over the proof. All right, so let's look at the proof. Why are the three angles in a triangle equal to 180? So we're given a triangle here, and we have parallel lines on top and on bottom. And we want to prove that the three interior angle measures add up to 180. So number one, we have triangle ABC with parallel lines AD and CB. We were given that information. Number two says that the, the angle three and angle four are congruent. And then it also says angle 2 and angle 5 are congruent. The reason these are congruent is because they're alternate interior angles. We have parallel lines cut by transversals here. So that forms alternate interior angles, and those are always congruent. And then number three says basically the same thing as number two, except it's talking about their measures. So we know the figures are congruent, but that also means their measures are equal. That's the definition of congruent. Congruent means equal. All right, number four says that the measure of angle four plus three plus five equal 180. So 